Docking in Roadtown on the island of Tortola in the British Virgin Islands, we wanted to go and visit the baths on the neighboring Virgin Gorda. Before our visit, we had looked into the cruise excursions to the baths and were put off by loads of bad reviews about there being too many people all arriving at the same time, long lines to navigate through the tunnels and paths, not long enough to spend there, not to mention the cost of about 80 US dollars per person. That was when we decided to go it alone, and with a little research, it couldn't have been much easier. This is the story of the fabulous trip we had with all the information you need to enjoy it for yourself. It's so beautiful. The ferry terminal is about a 10 minute easy walk along the waterfront in Roadtown. We went for the 10am ferry as we wanted to avoid the cruise excursions. We chose Smith's Ferries and paid for a return ticket which included an open air transfer bus from Spanish Town Port to the Baths and Back on Virgin Gorda. The cost of this ticket was about 30 US dollars each and the boat ride took us about 25 to 30 minutes. That's one of Speedy's ferries as a result of the hurricane Irma is just tossed up onto the rocks and the road it's just like a toy boat and let me tell you these things are big it's just incredible on the British Virgin Islands. This is Road Town, which is the capital of Tortola. We're on, we're on Smith's Ferries, 10 o'clock ferry, over to the neighbouring British Virgin Island of Virgin Gorda. And we're off to the baths. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. The ferry was really quick and smooth. The journey is about 13 miles. It has inside and outside seating. So no matter what the weather, you should have a comfortable crossing. There's the baths right in front of us on Virgin Gorda. As we arrived at the dock at Spanish Town, we could see the baths about a mile on the right. As we came in, we had only been about an hour from our cruise ship, and this included waiting for the ferry for 15 minutes in Roadtown. So far, so good, and we knew we were nearly there. Once we got to the dock, we had a two minute walk out of the harbour and caught our open air transport to take us to the baths. This was really easy and was waiting for passengers to arrive. The locals were really friendly and helpful. The bus ride only takes about 10 minutes to the top of the baths and drops you off just near the ticket office to purchase your entrance tickets. There was still lots of damage clearly visible caused by the Category 5 hurricane Irma in September 2017. Our trip in this video was shot in February 2018, only five months after Irma hit. I have seen recent footage of the BVI's showing a huge clear-up since we visited. When we arrived at the top of the baths, we bought our entrance tickets for three US dollars. We started walking down to the beach and the boulders. Lots of reviews said the walk was strenuous, but we found it fairly easy if you take your time. A couple of times the signs were a bit confusing, but we found our way without much trouble at all. The walk takes around 15 minutes from the top to the bottom where the baths are located, and the gradient is fairly shallow. The further down we went, the larger the boulders became. It was really exciting at this point, and when we reach the bottom it opens up to a lovely beach where you can get drinks at a little bar, use a toilet, and rent a locker to keep your gear dry if you need to. The Baths are a BVI national park covering about seven acres 
a geological wonder comprising huge granite boulders, some measuring as much as 40 feet in diameter. The story of the baths is as awesome as the place itself and goes something like this. The cavernous surroundings formed around 70 million years ago as a result of molten rock seeping up into the existing volcanic rock layers. Because the molten rock did not reach the surface, it cooled very slowly and formed a hard granite layer. This layer shrank as it cooled, causing cracks to form. Over millions of years, these blocks of granite spilled over to the surface of the earth, and there, the rhythm of waves, jolt of earthquakes, and flow of water have rounded the rocks and uniquely tells the passage of time on the rock faces. This natural wonder is located between Devil's Bay and Spring Bay on the southwest corner of the island. The boulders have formed wonderful walkways, amazing pools and awesome caves. Some of the boulders are as big as small houses with lovely turquoise pools between them. The walk through the boulders can be tricky with ropes and wooden steps to help you navigate your way. However, you can go and visit the beaches either side and still experience this amazing place, boulders and all, without taking on all of the walk. It's clear to see. This is Devil's Bay, just arriving. Oh my goodness me. This is beautiful. My apologies at this point for the quality of the video. I think I got carried away with the beauty of the place forgot about the lens on the camera. We meant to be in the great outdoors forever free. We are Devil's Bay Beach, Virgin Gorda. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It was at this point we knew we had made the right decision to do this trip independently, without hundreds of others blocking our route or having to queue to get through all the walkways and boulders, as I had read prior to our visit. Also, for all four of us, the cost was about 130 US dollars, compared to the 320 by booking through the cruise ship excursion. It was an amazing day, and either way you do it, just do it. It was quite unique and stunningly beautiful. When we walked back to the Top of the Baths, we visited Top of the Baths restaurant with a gift shop and lounge bar for a drink and a dip in their freshwater swimming pool before catching the little bus back to the ferry for a trip back to Road Town. Once back on Tortola, we walked past this area where there were hundreds of cars parked that had been damaged by the hurricane. Such a contrast of nature's power compared to the beauty of the baths we had visited just one hour earlier. I hope you enjoyed our video as much as we did making it. Please subscribe to our channel, Travel Taylor, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for coming on our journey with us.